Hi, my name is Emily, and today we are going to cover the ShareSite Portfolio Overview page. So this figure on the top right is your current portfolio value, as the name suggests, and it is independent of any of the options you've selected, such as the date range in the date picker. It is also based on the last prices that ShareSite has on your investments. Next, I'll give you a quick tour of the graphs. So if you click on the graph drop-down menu, you will see the four different graphs that ShareSight has um, available and a brief description of what they all show you. And you also have the option to hide the graphs if you're finding that it's taking a while for your ShareSight portfolio to load. So the growth graph is showing you the dollar gain for discrete subperiods. So it shows you your capital gains, your dividends, and your currency gains. And with any of ShareSite's graphs, you can hover over them to have more detailed information, like so. And if you wanted to hide any of the items on your, on your graph legend, you would just click them and that would hide them. So in this case, I just want to see my capital gains. So by clicking on dividends and currency gains, I've, I've hid them from my graph. But if I wanted to add them back on, all I have to do is click them and they will reappear. And uh, one more thing to note is any single graph has a description on the top right hand side. So if you hover over that, it will give you um, a little bit more background on the graph that you're looking at. All right, so next we have the value graph. So these two graphs over here, and they basically show you your portfolio value over time based on the date range that you've selected in your date picker. This, the only difference is this one shows you a stacked um, area graph, and this one is just a line graph. So um, I'm gonna click on the stacked one. And uh, right now it's showing me um, the value uh, over the last, or sorry, this financial year, and it's organized by investment type. So this, this graph is, is definitely more powerful when you are um, looking at it by grouping. So the, the drop-down menu on the right is all the groupings that ShareSight has available for you. So by default, ShareSight allows you to group your investments by market, sector, industry, investment type, country, and ungrouped. And also you see here Emily's grouping. That is a custom group that I have created. You can create your own custom group by clicking on manage custom groups here. And that will allow you to group your holdings in a way that's meaningful to you. So I'm gonna leave it selected as investment type. And just like the other graph, uh, you can select and unselect from the legend to change what's displayed on your graph. And uh, next I'm going to show you um, just quickly what the lines graph looks like. Okay, and Finally, I'm going to show you my favorite graph, which is a performance index. This one is the one you want to look at to measure your performance over time. Uh, and it's the only one that will show you a benchmark if you have that applied in your portfolio. So I do have a benchmark. Um, I'm using the, an ETF on the Australian Stock Exchange, STW, which basically tracks the top 200 stocks on the ASX. And the reason I've chosen this benchmark is because most of the holdings on this portfolio are on the ASX. So it's a good benchmark to use. Okay, so let's take a look at the performance graph. So the first thing you'll note is ShareSite has grouped all the investments um, in your portfolio in this thick, dark orange line. And your benchmark is in this thick, light yellow line. So if I wanted to just look at my portfolio against my benchmark, I would just turn off or hide all the different groupings here on the legend, like I've done previously. 
And that gives me a nice graph of my portfolio against my benchmark. So you can take a look and compare performance. Um, also, I can just turn these off and compare all my different investment types as well, or whatever grouping that you've selected here. Um, and this is a great way to track your performance um, by the different groupings and the different time periods. So if you wanted to look at a specific time period, then what you would like to, what you should look at is the performance report just by going into reports. So that would be, that will be covered in a separate video. So underneath the graph, you have a summary table that compares your portfolio against your benchmark if you have one. And on any of the headings here, you can just hover over and you'll have a tooltip of what they mean. So my summary shows me my capital gains, dividends, currency gain, and my total return. Next, we have a table consisting of all our individual holdings. Now, uh, at the moment, they are grouped by investment type. But for the purpose of this example, I'm going to ungroup them. By default, ShareSite organizes your holdings in alphabetical order. But if you want to um, sort them by price, for example, you would just click on the little icon that has the up and down arrow, and that will allow you to uh, sort by price in ascending or descending order. So just click once for descending and then twice for ascending. And the same goes for anywhere you see that icon with the double arrow, the up and down arrows. And just like I mentioned earlier, the dotted lines underneath represent, you can hover over it for a tooltip of more information. Uh, another thing to note is that your capital gains, dividends, currency, and returns are all in monetary amounts. Um, so in my case, dollars. If I wanted to see that in percentages, then I would click this toggle and now it's showing me everything in percentages. And another thing to note is right now I'm only showing open positions. So any holdings or investments that I've sold will not show up on this table. So if I sort by quantity, you'll see that the min minimum quantity that I'm showing is one. But if I click on this toggle, you'll see that it's now showing the open and closed positions. And so it will show me investments where I have, where I have sold my holdings. You will, you might have noticed that I have little colorful circles to the left of some of my holdings. And these are called labels and they will be covered in a separate video. And that is a premium feature. And at the very bottom of my table, I have totals. And it's in Australian dollars as my portfolio is domiciled in Australia. So that covers the portfolio overview page. If I have missed anything or if you, have, you are left with some questions, please leave us a question in the comments below and we will answer your question there. Thank you so much for watching.